you are watching Sway, 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 Sway In the morning, in the morning, in the morning Only on Shade 45, in the home of the MC Wake up, wake up Sway in the morning, you heard? Stay tuned Shade 45, Sway in the morning Got a good friend of mine up here, have the B. I I know it You know he's a member of the Yancey Brothers And you know when Stuart has been putting it down independently for quite some time now He's been on the show before Mm-hmm his bloodline is royalty in hip hop culture, being the brother of Jay Dilla. Yeah, that deserves a round of applause. Everywhere he goes, he has to live in his brother's shadow. <laughs> 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 but hey, what a great shadow that is. Yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, that just keep his brother here in spirit with us. He's always present. Now he got his own projects that he's been doing. Welcome back to the show, the one and only Illa J. What up, yo? How you been, man? Good, good, man. Good. Man. What's been up, man? Are you still a resident of the United States? Are you still a United States citizen? I mean, yes, technically, yes. Like, you know, but I mean, I mean I've been spending, I, I'll just say I've been spending most of my time in Montreal. So, I, like, I'm never in the state. <laughs> you never, you never, um, okay, cool. What's up with the Yancey boys, man? Um, I mean, like, me and, Saint, me and Frank still, like, that's still my bro. But, like, I, I had to get back to, um, like, I started off like solo and I always wanted to, I've been working on it for a long time, but um, I'm kind of glad that I waited, you know, because I feel like I've made a lot of progress like, as, as far as like I've grown a lot in my like my writing and everything in my voice. So I feel like now is like, you know, it's the right time to come back to it. Okay, it's the right time to come back to it. Now, last time, well, one of the last times I saw you, mistake me if I'm wrong, were we in Paris, France? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a nice place to meet up with somebody. Come on, tell you, bonjour. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> We oui, we oui. yeah um and <laughs> I, what is that what's that uh, you know I love and you. it was a pleasant surprise because you were performing it was a music festival or something going on in, in yeah. Paris that that day yeah. and I I didn't know you were gonna be there and I was there with my my brother Fab you mm-hmm. know um uh from um uh, uh, from from Paris France and uh, who else was I with just Dizzle and we were all just walking around just experiencing Paris. Paris music scene, how incredible is that? Oh, man, the, the the love out there, man, like, especially doing shows, just, like, the energy is, is crazy. It's, like, it's, it's overwhelming. Like, you know, when you when you giving that energy to the crowd and they giving so much back, like, it's, it's really overwhelming. Like, I love I love performing there. Like, that's one of my favorite places to perform. Where else have you traveled, Illa J? Um, I'm trying to see, well, I mean, uh, Japan, like, I, well, I, well, I mean, I've been to a lot of places. Some of them, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Wow, <laughs> but that's an excellent. But I just say, I just say, my favorite places though, like Japan, Paris, London, always show mad love. Um, uh, Brazil's crazy, Chile, and um, yeah, Montreal's super dope. Mm. <laughs> All right. Where's the most challenging crowd at? Like, what was the most, the least favorite? Uh, I would say, I mean, not 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 least favorite, but mm-hmm. I mean, I would say. Uh, in the states, just because I feel like we, you know, we grew up with this music, so like they appreciate it more when we go to other places because they like, yo, that's that music from the states, and you know, we okay. like, yo, man, that's man, that's the dude from down the street. I know, you know, what yeah. I mean? like, so it's like we we used to that, but I kind I kind of like that because it it makes me want to like work harder, you know, to mm-hmm. you need you need that person that's kind of like. Because a lot of times people come up and it's like they got everybody around like, yeah, that's dope. That's dope. And right. it don't always be dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> you need somebody to be like, no, nah, that was that was kind of wax. Huh? You know, what I mean? yeah. Um, but, how has your travels influenced your music? You got this new solo album. It's called Illa J. It's available now on iTunes. How, how has your travels influenced how you make and write songs? Uh, I mean, you just get different inspiration from, you know, like you kind of absorb everything around you. So you in different surroundings like. Like, you know, me being from Detroit, then I go out to, to Europe and somewhere. It's just a whole different vibe and, you know, just bikes everywhere. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, coming from most time, everybody driving and stuff. So, I mean, it's just like, you know, your environment kind of, like, influence you, influences you creatively. So, it's like I see a lot of different things I don't see. And that'll that'll turn into a song concept. Like, oh, like, that's I've never seen that before. And I might write about it. Especially, the, like, the new project is definitely inspired by Montreal, like, for sure by Montreal. Yeah. Yeah, because you got a song called Perfect Game on this album, and um, it's kind of like a a, 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 a a metaphor for bowling. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I grew up, I actually grew up bowling. Like, we used to bowl, like, five, four to five times a week. I was in the league. My dad was in the league. Actually, my dad, he he was really good. He uh, he had a nickname called uh, Mr. Profile because he had... <laughs> 
like when he would bowl, it would look like the bowling trophy, like his form. Oh yeah, yeah. You <laughs> call him Mr. Profile, but I mean, I was, I mean, I could, I actually considered. I was like, you know what, I could do this professionally, like mm-hmm. like bowling. Like I'm really good at that. But it's actually um like the hook is about bowling, but in a way, it's kind of, it's like a spiritual kind of under you know meaning to it too. And it's it's basically about you know because it's like 300 perfect game always in the pocket, and it's it's basically saying you know staying in tune, like you know yeah. and mm-hmm. how like you know. Like it's one, it's almost like saying it's cool to be in tune. Like that's like making that the new cool thing. Like to be in tune with things and you know to to follow that. Cause when you in tune, you'll you'll make the right decisions. Mm. Kind of that that For kind sure. of being in tune mean like being present. Right? Yeah, be, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah, I get that. that's really dope. Um, you reminding us that you're from Detroit. It made me think because we had Angel Hayes yesterday, who's also from Detroit, and then Big Sean's from Detroit. Do you guys like as artists? Do you embrace each other? Do you guys like meet? Because you know, a lot of times, folks that are from LA or in New York, they all know each other. Well, you know what? I like it's a it's a lot of a lot of artists I do know. Some artists I don't know, but um. Like Detroit is that, you know, it's, it's kind of like that. We all support each other, but it's like everybody kind of like in their own lane. But mm. like not not in a way that we don't support each other, but more like, you know. But I mean, in a way, it's like kind of supposed to be like that where it's like I'm in my lane and, and you in your lane. And it, it keeps it where everybody, you kind of developing your, your own style. Because like it's like Angel Hayes and mm-hmm. Big Sean is like, it's both Detroit, but they don't sound nothing to like. Right. You know what I mean? And, and Guilty and Black Milk and Slum, it's like. We are influenced by a lot of the same things, but, you know, our music sound different. And I feel like that's, you know, that's it's coming back to that where like that's that'll be like the main thing. Like, I feel like when I I grew up on music, it was like it was about having your own unique style. And, you know, Mm. nowadays you see a lot of people like, oh, that's that's the cool thing to do. So I'm going to do that. Exactly. But, you know, everybody got their own individual voice. So well, but I want to play some music Um, uh, real quick. Do you know who Errol Anthony is? No, that, that sounds familiar. I feel like I heard the name before. Legendary Bowler. <laughs> oh, what? I <laughs> what? Oh, so you didn't read? I didn't even know that. Well, Sway's well, about to get into his, his game. Well, another one of the things on his resume. Oh, you know, people may not know this, Hilla J, but, you know, I've shot a perfect game before, man. <laughs> I hit a 300 before. You ever hit a 300? No, I, I hit like a 270 something. That's like not I a 300, was, dog. Nah. All right, so we're going to do, uh, we're going to go into wow. his song. It's called Strippers, uh, produced by Potato Head People. And um, who else is on this? Um, It's uh, co produced by uh, Potato Head People and um, and Kate Trinata. And um, it's me on the vocals uh, getting my uh, my Funkadelic on. Like when you hear the, the, the parts in the beginning, like, that's actually me doing all those voices and stuff. But okay. yeah, that, it was fun making this joint, man. Shout out to to Nick and, and Nate and uh, K Trinata, man. They they did it. They was cra- they crazy on beats. I mean, those those dudes are some aliens. No, this is crazy right here. I like this beat. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. You speak to Illa J. Get to know him. Call us. Yeah. Nobody Strippers. Illa J. Y'all know Illa J. Repping that D. Uh. Yeah, I like that man. That's something. I sound like something Snoop would go, ooh. Yo, I, like, I wanted I wanted to get Snoop on that, yo. Like I was like I like I hit up his piece with like, you know, you know, you Snoop, you busy and stuff, but I don't know. That, it it would have been dope. It'd be dope to possibly I don't know if Snoop, you listen. It'd be dope for you to jump on that joint. <laughs> yo, I, I might you know, we might see Snoop because we're headed down. We're broadcasting tomorrow on Friday from DJ Drama Studio in Atlanta. They're shooting the B T hip hop awards, so and um, Heather B and Tracy gonna be doing a red carpet Friday. Oh, word, you know they blowing up. Look at them, they shining. They ain't, they ain't like treating like it ain't nothing though. You see that L J? Yeah, they're like, oh, they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing. Like, yeah, but anyway, so <laughs> Earl, Earl Anthony, that. um, legendary bowler. Back to that. Back to that. <laughs> you know, I got three. I got three bowling balls at the house, man. So. I got a storm, two storms, and uh. Oh, you got a storm. Yeah, oh, where? You know, man, it's just do, a little. Do sad, you still right? bowl? Yeah, you know what? I haven't, I haven't bowled in a minute, but I mean, I actually bowled um like a week or two ago because I shot the, uh, I shot the video here in uh at Brooklyn Bowl for the um, oh, for wow, perfect okay. game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I don't, I didn't have my like. I got my own bowling balls back at home. I got a, uh, you know, I got a hammer. And, you, you got know, a hammer? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I started a hammer. with the hammer. Yeah, I got yeah. the got the wide hook on it, so I, I put it on the first arrow. It come back in the pocket. You come like, on the first arrow, yeah. okay? So you're doing it like that. Uh, I got, <laughs> okay. I got like two styles. It depends on the wax on the lanes, you know uh, what I mean? Okay. The yeah, oil, yeah. you know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. just testing your bowling knowledge right now. <laughs> you know, we used to bowl for. Now this is your interview. We're gonna talk about my bowling. Um, we used to bowl for twenty dollars a game. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Okay. When I was in junior college, you know, and that's how I paid for my books. 
Oh, what? Yeah. Ebola? Okay, okay, what? Yeah, man. Wow. You don't want to talk about this much. No. Huh? So, you want, so like, you want to challenge the bowling? Challenge? I'm just trying to say okay. it, man. Ooh, we should do a bowling for charity. I'll come up to Montreal, man. We'll do something. Okay, let's do it. Let's okay, do it. Okay, all right. Now. We'll figure it out. Um, So, <laughs> are you going on the road with this album? Um, Yeah, like I... um. I got a couple of dates in um, Europe coming up next month, and then I know uh, Japan later in the year, and then I know I think I do Japan again in February, and then some more in Europe, and it's, yeah, it's got to get busy. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, Illa J, I got the million dollar question. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right, I, I'm just curious about your friends and, and some of the names that I keep seeing popping up and I've heard you say, because you have to explain. Potato head people. Yeah, <laughs> who are they? <laughs> <laughs> Potato head people is uh, it's uh, Nick Wisdom and uh, Nate Astrological Beats, and uh, they're from Vancouver. Two super talented. It's like, it's like, I, I'm, if I were to describe them, it's like kind of like the Neptunes, like, but like a futuristic, and they like, like Nick is like the Pharrell, but like you know, but again, he plays multiple instruments too, and then uh, Nate is like the he's like the Chad, Chad. and he's like super musical genius, and, and like. They make beats on their own, but then when they make them together, it's crazy. It's like I honestly, I feel like my brother, like, put us together. Like it was meant for us to work together because I feel like my vocals with that, their production, it just it just goes perfect together. Okay, now you you broke them down. Now, Mooka only. I feel like he woke up and it's like there's only one me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm I'm just gonna add only on it because is it, is it Mocha or? Mocha, mo- Mocha. 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 Okay, so what's his deal? Um, he he's actually from Van, uh, Vancouver too, and um. What's funny is um like how like how he ended up on a lot of the tracks. We were just making the tracks and um like Nick Wilson was actually really good friends with Mocha and uh he would just send him the stuff he was working on. He was like, Oh yo, word, he'd just jump on joints. But when he when he turned it in, it was like, Oh man, that's dope and it just go right with the song because it just kinda just flowed like And just when I thought it would just be like, Okay, I, I got the friends, this is all coming out on bastard jazz records so bastard it could jazz. just be jazz <laughs> re- who threw who decided to be the bastard in all this? Uh, this, uh, uh, eric eric and aaron uh, shout out to them um like i honestly like su- su- super cool dudes um i'm like this project means so much so it's like mm. for them to take you know put put into this project because like my first project coming out was illa j and it was a like, yancey boys and then it was yancey boys sunset boulevard and then you know Stuff with Slum. Now I don't. I'm not, I don't discredit any of that. Like it's, it's an honor to be yeah. able to release anything. But this project means a lot because it's the first project that I'm kind of like, you know, it's almost like I'm leaving the nest, kind of, you know what I mean, like on my own and kind of like, yo, this is what I want to do. Mm-hmm. And so, all right, good. Yo, what's up, man? I'm DV, uh, the movie guy over here. But I have a question from a producer <laughs> standpoint. Word, word. I started making beats in about '99, uh, 2000, and um, you know, just seeing the progression of where hip hop production has gone. And the past couple of years, it seems like it's become such a monkey see, monkey do kind of thing. Like everybody yeah. just wants to mimic what's hot right now on the radio. I mean, more on the mainstream side. So for you, is it a little frustrating that because you're such like a unique individual when it comes to your production style? Like you're not, you know, using the same 808 kicks and all the bullshit, you know, drum kits that everybody's using on Fruity Loops and everything just to make an easy beat. So when you sit down and you put something together, are you like... Damn man, like I could just make like a quick five minute beat and just put it out, and everybody be like, "Yo, that's dope." You know, put a filter on it, and yeah. yeah. But but do you actually be like, you know what? I don't even care. I just want to just put something out that's gonna be dope and quality. I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it should be about. Like just making stuff. Cause I mean, it starts with like you, whoever your crew is, who you, who you make music with. We make music that we think is dope, and I, I think that's what it should be at the end of the day. It's like mm-hmm. if you if you feel it, you know, what I mean, that's that's what it should be about. Cause if you're making it for like. No, it, there there is that making a connection with the crowd. So you want you want to communicate, you know, that message or whatever you're trying to bring. Yeah, but at the same time, if you ain't feeling it, then you know what I mean. Like, cause I mean, it's one of those things. Like this music, like usually either you either you love it or you know, I don't, it's not something you mess with. Cause you know, with all the ups and downs in the industry, it's not something you want to do if you don't really if you don't really love it. But I mean, to, for me, it's like putting out what I think is dope. All right, we got um, Burnell on the line from Orlando. Go ahead. What up, Burnell? Say yeah, hello to Ella J. What up, what up? What up, though? Hey, bro, straight up. I just got to say, yo, you got the, the originality, the style, and overall, I got to say the vision, yo, because I, I can tell our, our fallen brother is speaking through you, yo. He, yo, Jay Diller is speaking through you, yo, and I can feel it. I can feel that energy. And that, that, that connection you talking about, that being in tune, I salute yeah. you for that, bro, because it ain't enough of that right now. It ain't enough of it, but I, I salute you, man. We coming up. 
Yeah, man. Thanks, yo, man. Wow, right. man. Hey, get his album. It's called Illa J, Burnell. Man. Get his album, right? Hey, man. Okay. Hey, man, I want to include you in, in on, on this moment that's about to take place, man. Mm -hmm. Now, it has nothing to do with your album, but in a sense, it does. I can't make that connection yet, but I will. Watch. <laughs> um, because... On this, this is my brother, man. Mm -hmm. We text each mm -hmm. other. He let mm -hmm. me know what's going on with him. I'm trying to get up there to Montreal with him. Um, mm -hmm. Tonight, I'm going to be on Empire. Oh, right. right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to be on Empire tonight. Second Illa. time, okay. baby. It was too, too down, man. Too down, man. Just kind of like my bowling game, man. I'll be winning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, I got a good friend. He, he plays Hakeem on the show, but goes by the name of Yass, you know. And Word. I asked him to call in today, man, because a lot of folks didn't believe that I was going to be on tonight. And, uh, and, and I, I wanted him to kind of give us some insight on tonight. Is it all right if we get on the phone with him? You watch Empire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. would you like to talk to him, too? Yeah, well, okay, right, all right, right. all right. <laughs> well, we got him on the phone right now. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey. What up? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. It's Empire Day, so it's a good day to me. It's mm -hmm. Empire Day, man. It's our day, right? <laughs> our day. It's your day, Sway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. How you been, man? Man, it's been going good. It's been going good. Yeah. Um. Um. Well, how, yes. Um. How How has the reception been? Um. Uh, for the Um. Uh, for this season of Empire. We've getting a lot of good reception. You know, it's so early in the game right now. We only like two episodes in. Yeah, third episode, so you know. Okay, are you We're still working? We still filming. Well, really, the, the season isn't done yet. Nah, man, we we like no nowhere near being done. We just oh, working. wow! So, do you guys? Hey, yes, this is Tracy. What's up, Tracy? Hey, so I'm wondering then because people are so vocal about their opinions and how they feel the storyline should go. Do you guys <laughs> take that into consideration since you guys are very social media driven when it comes to the script? I mean, honestly, I just do my part. Mm -hmm. You know, I listen to the writers, uh, trust in the writers. They've been in the game for a long time, so you know that's we just do what we do. Got it. Hey man, yeah. so tonight's show, man. You know, was, I was watching last week because I really don't know what's going on. You know what <laughs> I mean? And I was yeah. like, what, what? What can we expect? You, 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 you know, you, you acting up. Hakeem is acting up on the oh, show, man. Oh yes, him yeah, and his I girl mean, group. Yeah. The character's acting up right now. He's spoiled. <laughs> he got his own company, so he's trying to like prove to his family and his brothers like he can be the heir to his company. So he's doing all these crazy antics, and trying to prove people wrong. Hey, wait, wait. Okay. Um. Um. Now, what's the young lady's name? That Becky. No, no, not Becky. Oh. Uh. Um. Not Becky G. But the 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 other one. That is, is it? Uh. Tiana. Uh, right. Okay. Right. That's her character name. That's her character name. Who who plays her? Terea. Terea. Uh, are y'all friends off off stage? Yeah, she cool. She a cool homie. Yeah. Sure. Talented. Yeah. That sound like something right there, Heather. Right? Because <laughs> <laughs> y'all y'all on camera chemistry is kind of special. Like it's it's like you looking at her. Like don't worry, just deliver the line. I'm not gonna give up game. Nah, I mean. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that's how people have been feeling. I thought you were talking about Becky because I've seen everyone on Twitter like, "Ooh, who's a spicy Latina?" And then the last episode, <laughs> that's racist. It is racist. I didn't mean for that to be racist because their food is spicy. Like, Tracy, Beans. come on, man. <laughs> yes, Beans. help me. That's when you're supposed to help me. But anyways, but people were interested, and with the last episode, um, Becky and Yaz, they had a scene where they were in bed together, and it looked like it was easy to play. So of course, folks start wondering if the chemistry is both on screen and off screen you know becky g she's cool too you know <laughs> 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 got it could you actually make out i mean obviously it's a part of your job but is it harder if you don't have chemistry with someone like off the screen to then uh create it in front of the camera has that ever happened to you well yeah it's definitely hard so you know you gotta like before a scene, I'm not saying hang out at the person's house. Mm -hmm. Like before the scene, you know, you gotta have conversations, you know, weird conversations at that too. So, yeah. What are the weird conversations? What do you mean? Uh, just trying to get comfortable, you know, 
would you know asking her what what she don't like, what she do like, you know. Like, did you ask her, do you like tongue? Do you not right. like tongue? That's How much saliva? <laughs> <laughs> like that? No, man, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man, Yaz. He plays Hakeem Lion on um, Empire, which is coming on today. Yo, you know, Terrence, Terrence got a lot of um, rapping scenes, man. I, I don't oh, know. Sway, what's up with that? You ain't nothing but a snack, snack. Oh, yeah, yeah. How this doing? How this doing right? You ain't nothing but a snitch. What they were saying yeah, in what the they jail. Was sna- yeah, yeah, with Petey Pablo and, yeah. and, 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 and Lucian, and they were rapping in jail. Lucius. And, yeah, Lucius, they were rapping in jail. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, we played that. We've been playing that, but we're going to play your new song. You got a new song called About to Blow. About to Blow. Right? Yeah. Be Timberland. Be nice. T- Timberland. Damn. Just for the record, who writes your verses? I do. Oh. Okay, there it is. All right. <laughs> Have you and Terrence ever battled at the set? We always do. Who wins? Sometimes he wins because he got the guitar and he he can sing and all that. Oh. And then sometimes I win, you know. <laughs> okay. Silly. Now. Well, I'm a, I'm gonna give up some game here. This song is gonna be performed on Sway in the Morning tonight. I wasn't supposed to tell you guys that, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this, right? <laughs> hey, hey, yes. How did I do, man? Man, you did great. You surprised me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. <laughs> For real. Word. Oh, okay. Yeah, I seen it in your eye. He was like, "Yeah, okay." I'm like, "Cool. That's what we're gonna do." <laughs> yeah, it is, man. Go and, uh, swipe. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. I, I finally got more than three lines there, Illa J. We got Illa J, J. Dillis <laughs> Brothers right here with us, too, yeah. Say hey, what's up to Illa J. What's up, Illa J? What up, what up, yeah? He got a new album called Illa J, man. I think it'd be cool if you two collaborated together. That's why I kept him on the mic. I, I think... Um, you know, young MCs coming up in the game. I mean, yeah. you know, Yaz is a, a he's acting, but he's really an MC first. Mm-hmm. You know, and and hopefully through this acting thing, people to recognize that really at heart he's an MC too. Man, that's really what I do, man. Yeah, that's what's up. Absolutely, man. So we're gonna play the song, man. And um, anything else you want to tell us about tonight's episode? It's just gonna get better and better. It's gonna be some side turns. You're gonna be crazy. Where you at right now, man? Right now I'm in Chicago. Okay. Who? who yeah. Hey, yes. Yeah, look to your left. Now look to, to your right. Look to the right. Who you see next to you? I don't see nobody. Oh, okay. I guess Becky G's not over there, huh? Oh, oh! My gosh! <laughs> <laughs> you are something else. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, homie. Uh, do you still got my number? Yeah. Text me your information. <laughs> I got some kids who live across the street from me. Who think I really live in Empire in Empire World, and uh, uh-huh. we're gonna have to call them, dude, because they want to be your brother and sister. <laughs> Every time I go home, these kids bum rush me. Sway, sway, can I came call? Wow, his name is Jazz. Uh, <laughs> Listen, it, it's all good. Let's let's do it. All right, text me your info, man. All right, congratulations on everything. Okay. Thanks, Sway. All right, no problem. Here's Jazz. It's called Bout to Blow. We got Illa J in here with us as well. 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning. That's Bout to Blow. Yes, play, a.k.a. Hakeem from Empire. He'll be performing that on Sway in the morning tonight. So make sure you watch Empire on Fox at 9 p.m. It's going to be a doozy, citizens. Citizens voted me on. Citizens voted me on. Illa J is here with us. New album, Illa J, available now on iTunes. We got um Dan... Danielle from Los Angeles on the phone. What is good morning? How you doing? Hey Danielle. Good morning. It's Daniel. Daniel, oh. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference. What up, D? Okay. Good morning, Sway. Good morning. Uh, what up? What up? Hey, I just want to let you know. I, I I thank you for continuing the legacy of Jay Dilla. Man, I'm the biggest fan. I mean, I started doing music because of Jay Dilla, and when you came out with your first album, I was just stoked on you know you you using the dilla beats that weren't out and now you're just continuing your own your own thing and i'm a huge fan of potato head people too um i checked out on uh and and kachinata i mean i'm i I love the beats and unfortunately you know beats like that aren't being used today and and like um someone was saying earlier you know all the 808s and all these other whack instruments that people are using unfortunately people don't know good music good hip-hop rather nowadays and uh i just want to thank you man and 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 we're blessed to have you oh man thanks man appreciate the love yep. hey have you downloaded the album yet daniel 
I'm going to right now. I wasn't aware of it. Usually I'm up to date with, you know, the underground hip hop and everything you guys do, and I'm downloading it as soon as oh. I get off the phone. Oh, All right, go ahead. I'm going to get you off right now. We got Robert on the line from Detroit. <laughs> what up, Robert? What up, Rob? Hey, hey, how are y'all doing this morning? What's up? This is Phil. Uh, Illa J. Hey, um, just with the last call I said, I agree with everything he said. I'm a huge fan. My name is actually Darby, um, but that, that's how people know me. I live in Texas now. I just caught the slum tour, and, um, I was just wondering, because you weren't there, are you still in Slum Village? Uh, well, I mean, Slum is like, it's one of those things where I'm kind of like a, I guess you would say like an honorary member. Like, um, I'm I'm back focused on my uh, my solo, but I mean, you know, maybe one day I, I might go back. But right now, I'm um, like, I'm, I'm just focusing on my uh, my solo. So like, I actually stopped touring with them early 2014. But, you know, yeah, those are my bros, T3, Young RJ. They're doing okay. their thing. They're probably on tour right now, little kid. And I know that... Um, that group is kind of like the roots in foreign exchange where they have members come in and out and they just interchange. Yeah, um, yeah. But I also wanted to ask you, do you have anything planned with El Zai? Do you know if he's going to drop an album? You guys would be, you know, that would be dope if you did. You El know Zai. what? I, I ain't talked to, I ain't talked to El in a minute, but I mean, I know last time I, um, he was working on something. So I'm not, I'm not sure when, when he's dropping it, but yeah, he, yeah, he definitely be doing his thing. Yeah, shout out to no El Zai. In, there's no information online about him at all, you know, um, and also, I just want to touch base with you, you know, because I grew up in Detroit. Word. Bowling is huge. Bowling is huge in Detroit. I used to bowl several times a week, too. And oh, I was did you roller skate? Did you roller skate? Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to roller skate. Yeah, yeah. What, what uh, bowling alley you uh, bowl at? I used to bowl, uh, I used to bowl in Sylvan because I'm from the Yacht. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, wait, oh, let me jump in. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. What's your average? <laughs> uh, Well, you know, let me just say, when I bowl, people make place bets. Just put it out there like that. I don't know what so, what's your average? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, I'm about I'm about two two fifty two forty. So you got no me. down two fifty. Oh, yeah, get him out of there. Good <laughs> lying, Rob. Go download the album, Miller J. All right, man, uh, brother. I want to thank you for coming through, man. Oh, so thank you, man. Absolutely, man. Sure, man. And we're gonna play uh, "Never Left," <laughs> and that's to be the, that's the last song on the album. What is "Never Left" about? Um, "Never Left" is pretty much about like everything that I kind of went through in the. Cause it, it'll it'll be ten years this February, which is bu- which is bugged out since wow. uh, my brother passed, and and basically coming into the industry and everything that, like I kind of, cause I, I feel like I learned everything about the industry after my brother passed. Like before, I just saw what he was doing in it, and then stepping into it. So you know everything dealing with that, and um, you know a lot of people that 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 use um, I say use my brother's name for like you know for the wrong reasons, but you know what I mean it was one of those things that. You know, you just kind of let all that stuff out. But I don't feel salty about any of that stuff. Like, I'm actually happy, you know, like, more happier than ever now. And, um, again, like, I embrace it. Like, I love my bro, and it's like a tribute to him. So, yeah, man, like, he opened the door, and I'm going to continue. I will always rep my bro for life. That's what's up. Illa J, that man. Is. Thanks for coming by. How can people reach you if they want to talk to you directly? Uh, you can hit me on Twitter, at Illa J, uh, Facebook, Illa J, uh, Instagram, at John Rigo one And, yeah, Illa J. Wait, wait, hold on. You just threw me off with the face. What, 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 at Instagram is what? At what? Uh, John at John Regal one. John okay. Regal is like that's like the uh, like the I want I want to like kind of like the alter ego. Yeah. The, oh, John Regal one. Okay. All right, man. All right, man. Thanks for coming through, brother. No, oh, man. Thanks for having it's me. All bro. love, man. I'm coming to Montreal. I'm busting your ass in the bowling alley soon. Okay. Uh, word, word. Oh yeah, I got it. Don't worry, you'll <laughs> what, be all right. What's your average? Uh, my average is about, uh, honestly, my average isn't that high. Probably, um, I was, last average I had was probably about 195. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, word, yeah, word, yeah. Word. That's my average. <laughs> you know, that's hard to maintain, but you know, my, 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 my high is perfect. And on that note, never left. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shea 45. Oh.